Hi, I'm Sarah B with Midwest Ghost Investigators, and I was recently asked if I could explain attachments and then also why do some spirits choose to haunt a specific person, place, or thing, and are they an attachment? So let's start with attachments. Let's start first with um, clarifying that when we talk about an attachment, we're not necessarily saying that it's demonic, okay? Demonic entities can attach, but attachments and demonic involvement are not synonymous, and it doesn't mean that if you have an attachment, it's a demon, okay? Demonic energy has its own uh, agenda. It, it is a very negative, of course, agenda, but they are their own never having been human entity, all right? And it's broader than the scope of our conversation today. So we're just gonna set the whole demon thing to the side. When we talk about attachments, um, most often attachments are human entities that are on a lower vibration scale, all right? So when we talk about angels and guides, that's a much higher vibration. They're from the light, light vibrates at a much higher uh, vibration. And so, they uh, they themselves are much higher in that in that energy pathway, right? For these lower vibration human entities, okay, these are folks that um, crossed over with quite a bit of self work to do, right? A lot of times, um, they have uh, things that they need to personally work on. They need that self-help manual. They need to get through. This is not your um, your uh, basic therapist session, okay? This is stuff like they, they need to work through like drug and alcohol abuse, um, addictions to pornography and, and that sort of thing, okay? I also want to be clear here that um, I want to say that just because people suffer from addiction does not necessarily make them a low vibration person, okay? The thing about drugs and alcohol and addictions in general is that it lowers your personal vibration. We are meant to vibrate. We are meant to be the light. We are meant to find that ascension, right? So when we talk about Hinduism and whatnot, we are looking for that highest um, possible self attainment, right? How do we get to this place, right? Well, life is challenging and people often fall short of the mark that maybe they've set even for themselves. And so they fall into addictions and these things happen. When these folks cross over, sometimes they find that they haven't really gotten past that, right? When we cross over, we don't automatically get a harp and a cloud and kind and all kinds of knowledge. Um, how you are in life is how you will be on the other side. And you will probably have a lot of work to do before you get to that master level um, that we all want to get to, right? So these folks, these low vibration human energies, um, are working through some stuff, but they're not always doing it actively. Sometimes they're stuck in that state and they're just looking for the next fix. So how do we get attachments? Let's approach that next. <laughs> 